Hunters, and <laughs> Nanwin could not be more excited. Yeah, she joins us live from Davis, where she is hunting some ghosts and I goblins. I am pretty excited. Take a look at this. This is so much. I don't remember the gun being this big the last time I was here, but Simon says that it is. So we're here, we're training because you know the zombie apocalypse is a real thing. And that's why we're out here at the Davis um, Fencing Academy where they just added um, laser pistol markmanship classes to their, um, uh, I guess, schedule. So we're going to hand that back. Got to let the kids practice. Now this is all a part. We're saying that they are all practicing for a big event happening in November. We have a problem, right, Simon? We have a problem that happens after Halloween goes away. Yes, the ghouls and goblins try to stick around in town, and we've been trying to figure out how do we get rid of them. So we're having a laser run on November 5th, and they're going to come in, they're going to be running around the park and shooting at different targets, as you can see. We have Mr. Skeleton, Mr. Mummy, and Mr. Wraith already here, and try to scare them out of town. Now, this is... All Already, it's an important cause. We have to protect the world and other people from the ghouls that are trying to remain here after the Halloween season. But it's also a fundraiser for something, isn't it? Yes, we're raising funds for the Barry Athletic Foundation for fencing and pentathlon. This will help students getting to national tournaments, getting to international events like the World Championships in Limerick we went to last summer, and also helping to raise funds to build a pentathlon center in Davis. I love it. So, if you guys are interested, the event is happening on November 5th, and it's happening where, Simon? It's going to be a community park, and it's going to be in the evening from 5 to 10. It's just going to be a one-half to two-mile run, depending upon your age group, and as you can see, we have different ranges, depending upon your ages. Mm -hmm. And the best part, there's a discount if you wear a costume. Ah so, there's your incentive there. Another reason to dress up after the Halloween season. So, of course, if you need more details or you missed all that, it'll, of course, be on our website. We'll send it back to you guys. Like you need another excuse to dress up for Halloween. Thanks, Nat. Well, there are some beauty tips that can actually help 